have come from the pole position. Green flag is in the air, and the Tough Shed 250 is underway. Side by side up at the front. I thought Carson Quapel was going to be able to clear Cade Brown for lap number one. He'll have it at the stripe just by a nose, but Cade Brown awfully strong there on the high side. Going to challenge here for the race lead on lap number two. Brown, the reigning champion at the Florence Motor Speedway, will cement the lead on the main straightaway, driving for Matt Piercy Racing. Not just trying that to pass anybody. The defending NASCAR Advanced Auto Parts Weekly Racing Series champion as he tries to make his way by Colby Howard down to the apron as I think uh, somebody had something wrong with the exhaust and now Landon Huffman gets turned on the back straight away as well. Three cars wrapped up in it and the luck just cannot turn around this season at Hickory for Landon Huffman. Caution is out. Seconds, they work into the KRC power steering restart zone back underway here at Hickory. Wapple once again able to clear for the top spot. Caden Honeycutt down on the bottom, going side by side with Connor Hall. Now Hall gets a run, and he may have a shot at Carson Quapple here in turns one and two. They nearly touch. Might have seen that body work crinkle up a little bit on the left rear of Carson's car there. I believe there may have been a little bit of paint, uh, paint traded as Diaz is trying to buffalo his way up back into the top ten. Three wide there on the top here at Hickory goes Dylan Wilson back up front. This battle has not ceased between your top two competitors, Jacob Hefner in fourth. Now McCovey. Oh, Tyrell spins. Grady, Watson, Millington, and Bassett all collected. No major contact. Steering restart zone. Quap on the bottom. Connor Hall on the outside. Green flag is back out. Great launch for Connor Hall. Have to say the same about Caden Honeycutt, who looked to have a run at Carson Quapple off at two. Quapple just clear. Hall, though, back to the bottom, looking for the inside, and Quapple will give him the space. Hall got underneath the backside of Carson Quapple going into three. Now he washes up the racetrack to allow Honeycutt to have a fender inside, but he slips off two, as does Brendan Queen. Hall slides that car off at turn number two, giving it his all right now as Quapple tries to catch Bolin in the most prime opportunity on the racetrack to put him a lap down. Bolin yields to the leaders. Great heads up move by that young driver as Hall gets a really good drive off two. Oh, a huge drive off at turn number two there with Connor. Connor Hall this time around, they'll face three laps to go. You can see the smoke there for Carson Quapple that has been there all night long. Connor Hall nearly a tenth faster that last lap. It's down to a car length here for the Tough Shed 250. Carson Quapple and Connor Hall. And the pace that these two are setting, they may catch this group of four out the windshield with two laps to go. Robusto. And more in front of your race leader, Carson Quaffle, as they hit the backstretch with the white flag waiting. They are nearly touching each other front to back as there's some lap traffic in front. Connor Hall sliding. Carson Quaffle is sliding. White flag in the air. One more trip around Hickory Motor Speedway. Isabella Robusto up the road. Quaffle going to have to make that car wide. It's